Right, so um, every now and then when I'm making my banjos, um, things go a little wrong. And um, rather than throw away the, the, the sort of rejected parts, I tend to keep them and use them for trying out new ideas. Um, and this is all based on parts that have gone wrong. So the neck I wasn't happy with, I wasn't happy with the transition between the sort of heel and the, and the neck, so I couldn't really use it. And also the pot went a little bit out of round. I'm sure if you can make it out. Um, and I couldn't give that to anybody. Uh, so something I've been wanting to make for a long time is one of these double headed painted Boucher banjos. I've seen a few vague pictures on, uh, on the web and I've copied as accurately as I can um, what I've seen. So it's got this painted pot, the hardware's been painted, um, the tack head on the back, tensioning on the front, nice little bit of red ribbon on there for decoration, and I've painted the neck which has these sort of chevrons, and I also did the, can you see that on there? Uh, well, I sort of hand carved the, the scroll which is a spiral. Um, it's a little bit rough, it took me ages. <laughs> but overall I'm pretty happy with it. And this thing sounds crazy, it's like um, loads of echo and booming sort of tones to it. I'm pretty sure that the, the mic on this camera is not picking up what I can hear, but it's um, pretty cool. Thank you. 
you can feel this vibrating <laughs> when you're playing it. So there it is. Painted William Boucher, double headed banjo.